Hello, and welcome back to Entravenous. Last we left off, we watched our brother Charles die in front of our eyes. Then we went out to avenge him. However, we did not find the man who was responsible for his death. We got a call from a strange man who we refer to as Accomplice. He's helped us out, trained us a bit, and has now given us our own personal hideout with loads of weapons to choose from. Like he said last time, we should probably go through the obstacle course, which is what we're gonna do. My accomplice is right, depending on the surface you walk on, it's the louder you are. We now have the ability to pick locks as well, thanks to his training. As you can tell, carpets like this are much quieter than tiles like this. And we have walls that we can hop on over. And door to pick. Yep, like Pompel said, there are breaker boxes around that we could use to take out lights instead of light switches. And, like we saw last time, there are also vent shafts that we can find to sneak around a lot more quietly. Now, we just have to watch out for this camera. We can, luckily, crawl, and the camera won't spot us. And just like that, we have completed Accomplice's training course. So let's move on. in the debriefing. Let's get to it. Start our mission. Druggy slums 3-4 days later, November 11th. Now we have a proper loadout we can take and pick with us. For now we're going to be sticking with the M4. And instead of the VP9, we are going to go to, uh, let's see, use 9x9, that uses 4.45. Yeah, we're going to go with the MK23. Now we have a bunch of gadgets to use. Flashbangs, frags, empty magazines, a taser, EMP gun, throwing knives, and motion lines. I personally prefer the throwing knife. The EMP gun and the e magazines. And now we have our three different types of armor Kevlar, ceramic plate, and plate and Kevlar. Plate and Kevlar is obviously the heaviest, it reduces our movement speed by a bit, but makes us very noisy. The plate reduces our movement speed by less, and it also is in the middle range when it comes to noise, while the Kevlar is the least protective but it doesn't affect our noise or our movement that much. So that is what we will be going with. So now it's time to confirm that we can. So we are building to our right. Probably the best place to go. Get our pistol out. We have that guy right there. We have no need to go picking fights with everyone we see though. A breaker box over there. 
we also now have access to night vision goggles. We can reactivate it with a tab. Uh, let's see. Turn off the lights and see if we track this guy. Nope. Uh, let's try something else. Then. Maybe he'll notice the lights are off. And, well, the door opening. Let's wait for this guard to go there. Throw a knife at him. Turn off his lights. Thanks for the ammo. Now get out of here. Trolling guard might be suspicious of lights being off in that realm suddenly, but let's have a and see. Nope, oh, says nothing. Let's start taking this look. But that is just how quickly you can die on Travelus. Just a couple shots and we were already dead. But this time, take things a bit more carefully. That was a bit reckless and risky. Even. Don't have anyone over there. Just ran in, stab him. Alright, that guy is taken care of. His buddy down there doesn't spell a thing. Alright. Sneak past this way. We have a guy right there. We can luckily crawl under his window, so he's in the wiser. A guard patrolling that way. Wait for him to pass. Punch that dude in the face. Let's carry him to somewhere secluded. Dropping a lot of bodies in bathrooms, I suspect. And finish him off so that way if people find him, they won't wake him up. Knife back out. We're actually gonna deal with that guard. I feel like he's gonna be like big. Ooh. He's gone real bad, but we got him. None the wiser. There, wait for him to pass before we hop this wall. Okay. Oh, 
Alright, so that word right there. Not what looks like a shotgun on the table at all. Like a complex sad, it's a good idea for us to check in these windows. Okay. We got an open window right there. That'd give us a better off chance to get in that guy. Like last time, we'll wait for this guy, stroll up, run up to him, punch him in the face. Hope everything goes well. So he comes. And surprisingly, that did work out better than I thought it would. Dump him in the bathroom. One down here. Off this. So it's not suspicious, we'll keep the lot on. Spawn in there. Fish him off. This beats my guy. Alright. Next building. All through here. Got a running team that's chilling here. Swap this over for a M3, but I'm lost. Hit this lock. This, 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 no. Lock him in the bathroom. All right, next building. Not. Pistol just chilling there. Check that out. Okay, night vision. Don't see anybody. Let's unlock. Hopefully that door over there is now unlocked. Now though would be a good time to do a safe. Alright, got two guys here, still ready, and this poor dude was murdered and his friend is in with the odd teaser right here. Drop this dude right there. Push him off. Okay. Last window there. Could break it open with him through, but no longer cans. That is clear out. Uh, no weapons up there of interest. Oh. That was no good. Yeah, that guy's aware of us. He's probably gonna go tell everyone. Yeah, he's out there shouting like crazy. Alright. This guy out, take him away. Oh, I didn't even notice his friend in the bathroom. Excuse me, good sir. Let's 
very messed up way for you to have died in the bathroom when you're trying to go, but sorry, buddy. It's either me or you. So we got this guy patrolling. Him inside as well. They're still searching for me. Whenever the music gets more intense, it tells you what state you're currently in. Right now, they're just on alert and searching for me. When combat initiates, the music will get even more intense. Alright, we've now made it inside the building. Get that gun. Yeah, it's a mini Uzi. Don't need it, but we'll pick up its ammo. Alright. So now we can make use of this EMP gun. With it, we can shoot lights. That dude out, his friend, none the wiser. Stick one and chill in there. Switch up lights. That's a Glock 18, which is a unique weapon. Whenever you pick up unique weapons, you must keep them till the end of the mission. But once you have them, you get to keep them and bring them on other missions. Sadly, we lost our only suppressed gun, but it doesn't really matter. That guy right there, lock him out. Drag his body right here. Alright, so. This guy watching that door. Let's run on over here, see what's up there over here. A window I could sneak through, and a breaker box. Right. So it's about to go dark. down. Taken out one of the four. Now it's time to get out. But we'll be saving that for next time. See you guys later.